Hello, my lovelies, and you join me here in Wet Leg Von Titty Biscuits, my 1998 MGF, non VVC, thank you very much, the model of choice. And when I bought this most splendid of cars uh, from the Island of Wight, it came with this Bluetooth hands free onboard gramophone and I think you would agree it's pretty awful um yeah it has been likened to a vajazzle <laughs> and the illumination is awful I mean it works perfectly well I can't fault it in terms of working but it looks awful totally not in keeping with the car etc 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 now I decided to replace this with an Alpine UTE BT200, which has the correct illumination for the car. It looks a little bit retro and is obviously a quality bit of kit. The problem with that is that they are north of 100 quid and I haven't had north of 100 quid in order to actually lay my hands on one. So I've decided either as an interim or if it works out, even permanent measure, I decided to get a uh, another cheap Chinese Bluetooth Meckless offering, but tried to find one that was going to look a little bit better in the car. And I find, uh, sorry, and I found one that seemed to have the correct colour illumination, same colour as the OEM cassette tape that were fitted to these, a uh, cassette tape player rather uh, along with a bit of green and of course wet leg does have green accents uh, so i thought that might do the job and it was only 17 quid so i ordered it and it will arrive in due course <laughs> The YouTube channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. Sorry, Mr. Boaty. To make YouTube videos with... Oh, you had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. And here we are. It has arrived. So, um... Ha! Huh, right. Well, let's see what we're dealing with. Gosh, a remote control. Possibly the most pointless card accessory in the history of the world ever. What have we got here? We've got some distractions and we have got some wiry bits, which hopefully we won't need. We've got a mounting cage, so that's an improvement over the existing thing. Oh God, how awful is this? How awful is this going to look? Let's have a proper look. It's upside down. Right, here it is. It's cheap. It's nasty. It's plasticky. It weighs nothing. And yet, already, assuming it works, I would say it's an improvement over the current visagel. <laughs> Vigazel, rather, that is in situ. Uh, hopefully the illumination will be conducive as well. Let's have a feel of that knob. Oh, feels okay actually. Hopefully those are the correct doings, so it will just slot straight in. Not much of a mounting cage, but should be enough. Remote control. Actually, as remote controls go, I've seen a lot worse. I wonder if it comes with a battery. Let's have a look. Nope, no batteries. You don't get much for 17 quid these days, do you? Tell you what, I should be making lunch right now, but let's just go and have a quick plug-in. Not fit it properly, 
but let's just go and have a quick plug in and see if it works, how it sounds, that sort of thing. Poor old wet leg has been right down past the village hall since Melanie Mingebag nicked her spot. Though Melanie is going to be taxed um, in a couple of days. So Wetty can have her spot back. Right, let's see. Okay, so here is the flimsy chap that we're replacing and it's not like it's been tremendously well fitted so um yeah it hasn't been tremendously well fitted at all so let's plug new boy in uh first and for that and first and foremost see if it works and uh, get an idea of how it's going to look when we plumb it incorrectly hopefully the fittings are going to be the same and it will fit directly in I'll just put you down for a sec. Right, I've taken the cage out of the way. Uh, obviously, we'll have a new cage to put in. And let's just pop this new fellow in and uh, see if the fittings are correct and see how it looks. Well, I think it's going to look kind of OK uh, when it's turned off anyway. I think um, you'd have to say it's a definite improvement on that, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? So, so far, so good. But... Um, Let's see if it works. Aha. Well, we have a clock. Helpful. And that is definitely the color of illumination uh, that we uh, that we require. That we required. Come on, it's not difficult. They're only words. Uh, because that is the same color uh, gramophone illumination as the OEM would have been. Let's power mode oh oh i don't like that red band that oh that's better green oh and it's flashing all different colors okay we need to read the destructions and find out how to oh we don't want music might get copyright see that green is perfect so I just need to read the destructions we believe that we are all made in the image and find out uh, find out how to keep it on the green. God's creation is there we go. That's Radio 4. Regardless of who you are, we shouldn't draw any lines to distinguish who can be a part of our church and who can't. Now I've heard people say, what about those who sin? Well, Bluetooth, auxiliary, and tuner. <laughs> and then when you turn it off, you get the clock. Hopefully there's a permanent live on there. I think there is, because the clock worked on this one. I think, oh dear. <laughs> I think that's gonna be all right, my lovelies. We'll plumb it in properly. I'm not gonna have chance today, but tomorrow's job will be we will plumb it in properly get the cage in read the instructions get it all working properly and um yeah what do you think i think we're on to a winner excellent oh that's good the um the instructions are actually legible and uh oh it's got an app as well it's got lots of clever things you know what? I'm going to go and fit this now. I can't wait. <laughs> right, let's get this done. Shouldn't take a jiffy. Job number one, cage. Does it need to go a particular way up? Or is it ambidextrous? I think it's ambidextrous, isn't it? Yep, right. Let's get it in. Sit in there nicely, so using um, a Phillips screwdriver, we just need to bend the tabs so that it's firmly located in place. I'll just put you down and do that. There, oh, there, I've done that properly. So that is now pretty solidly in place, which alone makes it an, uh, an improvement over the last installation. 
Right, let's plumb the unit in and see if it locates into the cage nicely. Okay, we're in. Not the most secure fitting, if I'm honest, but it's an improvement. We'll take that. Now, I think it said if I do a long press on this, Now let's try and tune the Bluetooth first. Bluetooth works. That's good. That's the time set, but I can't figure out how to get the flashing off and the spectrum, whatever they call it, and just have it on green. Done it. I've made it green. Ha! Huh. Right, I think, yeah. Okay, conclusion. As far as I can tell, it all works fine. My conclusion is it looks better. It fits better. Is it anywhere near as good as the Alpine? Obviously not. Would I prefer the Alpine? Obviously I would. But uh, 17 quid, um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm. I'm just going to call that a big fat improvement and what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to put some music on, see how it works and I'm going to take the car around the block because uh, Wetty needs a little bit of charging a battery and uh, she needs her wheels turning over. As do the rest of them really, uh, do that over the next couple of days. Okay, catch you in a bit. Great success. Um, it works really well. Um, I think the illumination is going to look really quite good um, at night. Again, that is the correct OEM colour. The buttons and whatnot um, and the surround to the volume knob are green, which matches the accent of the car. It sounds great. Um, I've actually got destructions for it, so I can um, use all of the clever features. Um, I'm going to call that 17 quid, very well spent, and, you know, a big old upgrade. So, excellent. Right, um, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Boats would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cyrle, Project MGTF, Rosette Chix, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Mickey Jeffries, Jimmy Quinn, Neil Gibbon, Classic Wheels Wall, Joe Cox, John Moruzzi and The Fabulous Psychonaut 7. Your support means the world to him, your all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with super chat, super thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your noble own when the advert come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.